Hello everyone and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2 Career Mode Finally. Um, the reason for the absence is I lost four episodes for some reason. I lost Auto Club, Martinsville, uh, Texas, and Bristol. I don't know what happened in the files, but we lost them. So basically to catch up real quick, we didn't win anything. I almost won Martinsville, but I stayed out on old tires and that screwed me over. So now we are here for Richmond Raceway. Still, we only have one playoff point coming into this race as we are in qualifying, coming in to the uh, tail end of our qualifying attempt in Session 2, right behind Kevin Harvick. We're going to come across the line, and I always only run one or two laps, and we went P24, so obviously the last in Round 2. It's not the best, but we're going to advance to the race and hope we can pull off something good here tonight. To you from Richmond International Raceway for the Toyota Owners 400. Today, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series makes its first of two stops at this .7 mile asphalt track. The drivers love coming here because this D-shaped oval has multiple grooves that offer lots of great passing opportunities and tons of side-by-side -side racing. We love coming here for the same reason. So let's get ready for some racing. All right, there you hear from the PRN guy. We start P24 for Richmond Raceway. Green flag is out right behind Ty Dillon in the number 13 car. Right off the bat, I'm going to try and make a three wide go to the outside of him. You can make the outside work at this track, um, like really the third lane. I've done it several times, but usually only on restarts you can make the work. If I try to do it just in a normal run, I'm likely going to lose time. But on restarts, you're certainly going to see me trying that line. As we get passed by our Hendrick Motorsports teammate Alex Bowman, who's right behind our other teammate William Byron, who already has a win this season. I think, if I'm correct, he is the only Hendrick car that has a win currently uh, in our career mode. As I could have made a three wide right there with uh, Bowman, but I decided since he's my teammate, I'm going to give him a little bit of a break right now. Sliding up the track a little bit into Austin Dillon. We had a rivalry with. Him last season we've been pretty cool with him so far this season hasn't been a big deal at all now to the inside of William Byron I really did think about driving that car this season but I decided to take over the 48 obviously now Lowe's is leaving NASCAR not a huge deal to me but a lot of people would like to make it a big deal when it really isn't oh we got on the apron a little bit there that's one thing Oh, we got on the wall, but that's one thing I'm going to be concerned about is that apron in this race. I mean, I, I already know from past experience, if you get on that apron, you're going around likely. At the end of lap four, we have only gained, what, five spots? So we've gained like an average of a spot per lap. Right behind Kevin Harvick, who's side by side, by side with his teammate Clint Boyer. We're going to try and make the way outside work on them, but obviously... It does, not, it does not even go well at all. We lost time instead of gaining time. So certainly I'll keep that in mind as we come a couple laps later to uh, lap 7 under Matt Benedetto, who's having a pretty solid run early on in this race. But we are passing him for 16th. So we have gained a few more spots. We've got Suarez right behind us. And they're wrecking. And we made it through. I did hit the 14 in the back end. I don't think we have damage, though. So we are pretty good over that. Uh, Joey Logano currently sits P1, but we're going to get right back to green here. No need to pit. No one else is pitting. We did lose the spot to Suarez under that caution. And to Benedetto. All right, green is back out. I could take Boyer three wide on this restart. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the inside of him. I'll be careful with our teammate Bowman. Boyer takes the three wide for a moment with uh, Bowman and to Benedetto. Now we got even more three wide. In front of us with Kurt Busch and Denny Hamlin involved. Hold your line, still there. Really trying not to hit the apron on exit there. Stay on the bottom here. Hold your line, still there. Under Denny Hamlin. Last time at Richmond with Denny Hamlin, we Stay had a very interesting um, altercation go down. That's all I can say. We were hold basically wrecking each other for the last five laps and somehow... We, uh, I think he beat me, but we still kind of got the best of him there. Stay low, stay low. Hold your line. We have now got ahead of Stenhouse. We have worked our way up to P11 as we try to get under Ryan Newman for P10 now. 
to at least give us one stage point. Truex goes way wide. He is quite slow off of four, so that'll give us a free spot. But we come to just four to go on the stage. He got back past me. He has a pretty solid car. But we're trying to make the second groove work right now on him and just try to use that to get around him, Kozlowski, and maybe even chase Elliott here. Out of turn four, come to just three to go. Kurt Busch now on our inside. Into turn one. Ooh, Chase Elliott is around. He's in the wall big time. That might be a caution. Maybe not. They're keeping it green. Oh my gosh, we just about hit him. That would have been big right there. Coming to just two to go now in the stage then with no caution. Oh, well, there's the caution. Okay. So uh, the caution is out for, I would assume, Elliot. I'll throw a replay of this crash on the screen right here so we can kind of take a look at uh, what happened. Logano wins the stage. I'm not pitting. No one's pitting. Well, Elliot's pitting. He also died right back there, so that kind of makes sense. So let's see a uh, replay. I can't believe that we honestly didn't crash into the back of him. But you see, we're going to turn one right here. He just loses the back end. I'm going to assume that he lost a, a right rear tire or something or like a left rear. And that's what caused him to slide up like that and go around into the wall. But we're going to restart stage two in P8 right behind uh, Truex. Green flag is out. Logano leads them to green. We are going to go right to the outside hit Truex in the back. So that certainly slowed up my momentum a little bit. But we do still have quite a bit as we go into turn one. Truex drops out of the three wide in the middle now as we sit on the outside of Kurt Busch. Eric Almirola having a good run. Kyle Busch just about turned right into me. That would have uh, been really nice of him as I just absolutely choke it up and slam the wall on a straightaway. Eric Jones having a solid run as we go to the inside of him for P7. Former teammate there, Kyle Larson, having another good run. I got on the apron on exit. But it's not a big deal. We were, we were able to keep it going there. So luckily the back end didn't go around on me. A little bit of contact with Larson. Now we're three wide in the middle. This is not good. Oh gosh. Okay, we do clear Larson. He kind of backed out there. Or maybe I just kind of forced him to back out. But Eric Jones passes us for six. I'm just trying to make the outside work. But... It's so hard to do once you get within like three laps out of a restart. It's just really hard. All right, I just got a phone call there. That was a uh, not good timing, but Jones slides up. We do manage to get to the outside of him still. 20 to go in stage two. We're running pretty good at this point. I, I usually do run pretty good at Richmond. Um, we've run very well here in the past. So hopefully we can continue this momentum now that Richmond is a playoff race. So we can certainly run well here when it comes to playoff time. So uh, we'll use that momentum hopefully to propel us. I believe this is in round one. So we can... Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. No caution. Are you kidding me? I right, we gathered it back up. But now as we come out of turn four, the same lap, I get on the apron... Again, I hang on to it this time. I don't spin it out, but I kind of screwed over our teammate Bowman who got collected in that mess, but we keep it going again without uh, major damage. I mean, that certainly was terrible to have happen there, but uh, now we sit P20. Instead of running, I think we were like fifth. So, I mean, this is just turned into a complete disaster, which I was worried would happen in this race. This is certainly what we got to worry about next time we're here in the playoffs. Oh, man, that is so frustrating to have happen. We were running so good. We were honestly Awkward. in a position to where we could have set ourselves up really good for the final stage to maybe even contend for a win. I don't think we have win speed, but I think the lap traffic is going to play a big factor, and the AI in this game are trash at getting through lap traffic, uh, unfortunately. So I think wow, that we bad. could certainly still have a chance in the next stage, but we're obviously we're not going to get stage points now unfortunately after that choke I, I hit the apron on the exit of a corner twice in one lap and just blew it so now we sit P19 
coming to ten to go in stage two, and we just need to uh, ride it out. Basically, I'm just going to try and gain as many spots as I can. We're not going to get a top ten. Certainly doesn't help when I hit the wall on the exit of turn two, and now we have a caution. I don't know what that's for. I don't think it's for me hitting the wall, but Lugano leads. So uh, we're going to have like a six lap dash to the end of stage two. So this should be pretty interesting, but I guess we get another chance at stage points. Be ready. Have a good day. Stay sharp. Green is out. I'm going to just ride behind McMurray until we hit the line. Try to make a three wide on the inside. It is a six lap dash. Bubba Wallace running pretty good here. In the 43 car, Austin Dillon just hit me in the right rear. That is awesome. And now we're three, four wide. We're going to die. We're going to die. Oh, my gosh. Just have the spot, David. Oh, not again. Are you kidding me? Yep. Oh, my gosh. Everyone's dying in my mirror. Oh, my gosh. I give up on life. We're like 39th now. Let's see a replay of that. Oh my gosh. I just. This whole stage has gone to crap. Oh my gosh. The three car died. He hit the fence again like Daytona. Thank you, Austin Dillon, for giving me a decent thumbnail for the video. Uh, everyone, if you're still watching at this point, comment. Thank you, Austin Dillon, for the thumbnail. That doesn't change the fact that we're destroyed. We've got our teammate Chase Elliott right here in front of us. I mean, I just like him so much. I wouldn't mind go, like, just going to turn one and dump him. But I'm not going to drive him like that since he's my teammate. Now we've got two laps. Uh, ooh, I just about hit the apron again. I might as well just hit the apron and flip the car over into the grandstands and just uh, get out of the car and walk away. But we're not going to do that. We're going to stay in this race. And try to, I mean, if we can just get a top 10 at this point, I'll be happy. As the white flag is out in stage 2, we're going to send it in four wide because I really don't care about this stage anymore. I just want to get as many spots as I can to set myself up good enough for the final stage as I go under my Canadian buddy here, DJ Kennington. Out of turn 4, we're going to get P24 in the stage. Honestly, that's not actually terrible considering we just wrecked three times in like a span of five laps everyone's pitting so obviously i'm gonna pit logano wins the stage again so he swept both stages as we come out p36 we lost 12 spots that's Almost really ready. awesome green. green is back out there's a couple uh big names actually back here we got boyer um i see newman i would mention stenhouse but i said big names Stay high, stay high. Stay in line, hold your line. Alright, we're making that outside work pretty well right now. We passed Stenhouse. Go to the outside of Ty Dillon. We got Ryan Blaney, William Byron. All of our Hendrick teammates are just struggling so bad. It's like real life. I mean, I'm, I think we're P31. We're running just about where the 48 does in real life at this point in the season. Out of turn two. We do get up to 28th. We gotta. I'm not gonna force the issue with my teammate God. William Byron. But now you know, speaking on the Hendrick issue, um, like people were impressed with Jimmy Johnson finishing like 10th or like 11th. I think he finished like 9th actually. But they're impressed with him finishing that good at Auto Club, which, in my opinion, I, I don't think that should be impressive at all. He is a car. He has a car or is a driver that should be contending four wins at that racetrack so you know he's really um that whole team is struggling so bad when you know we're complimenting them for running like ninth at auto club i mean we're going to be complimenting him for running 25th at martinsville i mean by the way it's going but over that ramp i should like do my own like nascar weekly podcast type thing on youtube just talk about crap from uh, real life situations i would love to give my take on hendrick and uh a lot of crap about drivers i don't like as well like chase elliott but Inside. passing paul menard there. there he is running so good uh, in real life but not really in the game here he's running uh matching his car number but we're trying to change that we're trying to get 21st from him Austin Dillon is there, but also there is a wall there, so that doesn't help. Thank goodness they didn't put out a caution for that. 
outside. We're struggling right now with this outside line, but I kind of can't get to the inside at the moment. We might be able to get in right here if I can just get down right behind Paul Menard. Yes, I will. I could send it up the inside. I'm going to try it. Oh, don't want to touch the apron. All right, we come to just 26 laps to go in this race. Now you see I've worked my way all the way up to P8 now. So everything's going way better. We're in a position to get a top 10. That's really all I wanted, I said, at the end of stage two. But the leaders right now are starting to get into lap traffic. So this gives me even more of an opportunity to actually have a chance at running down the leaders and winning this race. We got, I think that's Kyle Busch P7. That's also an apron that I thankfully didn't wreck myself off of. So he's battling with Kevin Harvick, it looks like, for uh, P6. As well as Martin Truex Jr. is up there. By the way, Joey Logano, who's dominated this race, you might have seen it on pit road there. He is DNF'd. I think he had a mechanical problem. I just came by and he was on pit road and he basically died. We're actually gaining on Kyle Busch too without even like help from lap traffic. 23 to go, that's not a lot, but we just need to hope the lap traffic helps us out here because if, if, thank goodness there's not a caution right now. If we do get a caution, that'll probably end my chances at a win. Trying to be consistent as possible. I do see in my mirror, I believe that it's Kurt Busch who is continuing to close on me. I need to figure something out here just to try and pull away from him. I can't get to the throttle as soon as I would like to on the exit. And that's one of the biggest problems I'm noticing uh, right now. Harvick makes a lot of contact up there with Truex. So he gains a spot over him. Alright, we come to just 14 to go now. You see all the lap traffic is just bunching everyone up. We got our teammate William Byron who is like 36. What has happened, dude? But that is not good for him. Not a good run for the majority of our team. But we get under Truex. I'm going to take... Harvick and Suarez, three wide. I do let Harvick in. I thought about it, but I wanted to um, kind of respectfully race them at the end. I didn't really think three wide would work in that moment. Suarez is running really good. I think he's going to do big things in real life uh, this season or next season. I'm just going to continue to follow Suarez for now, though. Under Todd Gilliland, who runs P35, still better than uh, William Byron. As Truex gets to my inside, a little bit of contact there on the left door. We need to try and clear him. We will clear him into turn one, but I'm going to slide up. If I can just get down, well, that's going to hurt us. We've got Ty Majeski, the roadblock, right in front of me. Get out of the way. Thank you. I'm trying to make the outside work the best I can, but uh, we do make contact on his right door there. Who is that in front of us? That is Harrison Burton. Never mind. He is so slow. Holy crap. Stay on the bottom here. Still there. Easily clear him out of turn oh, two. Now as we come to just five to go, the whole roadblocks here in the way have helped me get to P4 right behind Harvick who sits third, Jones second, and now Kyle Busch has managed to take the lead in this race. He ha is trying to make it uh, around the outside of these lap cars, which I think is a terrible idea especially with four to go i think this is going to give all three of us right here behind him a golden opportunity to actually potentially steal a win from him now as jones actually also tries to go to the outside of lap traffic and i'm honestly i'm going to do the exact same thing because the inside is just a train that they're all just roadblocks i'm not even going to bother this is going to get interesting we got three to go if I can just get past Suarez, I know we can have an easy opportunity to get past uh, Kyle Busch now. As another Gibbs car joins the party, Suarez is here. A lot of contact with the back end of Jones, though. He is kind of slow there at the moment. We're going to take it three wide, though. We're going to try and make the outside work with two to go. He backs out of it, surprisingly. We're three wide again there with Cole Witt and Harvick. Don't put me in the wall, please. Thank you. Suarez is here again. Try to stay on the outside. We need to stay on the outside of these guys if uh, we want to 
At least have a shot. We can't let him clear us. White flag in the air, though. Kyle Busch leads going into turn one. We do have a chance. Side by side now. Out of turn two, one final time. Going into turn three, I'm going to have to send it in deep. Oh, we do get ahead of him for a moment. It's all about the exit, and he's going to get a better exit. And Kyle Busch wins in Richmond, and we get second. Thinking about that already, I should have, I had the opportunity to fall in behind him in front of the lap car, and I could have just moved him, but I, I just went for the dive bomb on the outside. I'm not going to complain about second though, considering how stage two went. It was an absolute disaster, and I, I just couldn't believe how bad that went. So I'm, I'm not going to complain. Wow, our teammates did so bad. 13th, 14th, and then 35th for William Byron. You see Logano there, dead last after dominating the first uh, two stages, and really, as long as he was on track, he was dominating. So we do still sit P1 in the points. Uh, 12 points ahead of Harvick. We only have one playoff point, but obviously we'll get a handful uh, of more playoff points if we continue to run as good as we are uh, just in the point standings. So that was an interesting race, I must say. But uh, it's not going to be as interesting as Talladega, I would assume, which would be next episode. There you see it. Talladega will be the next episode. Let's check the playoff standings. We sit, I think, like 8th in the playoff standings, but there's our teammate William Byron in 20th. We sit, yeah, 8th. Blaney leads the playoff points right now. He runs really good at mile and a half, and then he's absolute trash at the short tracks. I think that's just kind of a glitch, to be honest, with the AI, but Bowman's in the playoffs. Byron's in the playoffs. Uh, where's our teammate Elliot? Is he not in the playoffs? Okay, Kurt Busch is mad. Martin Truex is mad. I don't mind Truex being mad. I don't like him anyways. I've disliked Martin Truex since 2010. But um, everyone else is fine with us. So, Kurt Busch, we might be getting a rivalry with him just like last season. So that'll be interesting to watch out for. So that'll do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, subscribe, like, comment. Uh, that I'll be very appreciated. So I'll see you guys next time in Talladega. Have a good day, everyone.